Hi everybody, Vincent Aiello with Barco Inc. Today we're here to talk to you about the new features of EventMaster 7.0. As always, you can find a full list of these features in the What's New file located in your download package, which can be found here. First on the list for 7.0 is support for the all new E2 Gen 2. Some notable features for the E2 Gen 2 include all slots support eight links per slot as long as you use the new Gen 2 cards, which means two 4K per slot, as well as upgraded and more robust power supplies. So if you do use all Gen 2 cards in all of your input and output slots, you have enough headroom in the power supply to support the entire system on one power supply or have a truly redundant second power supply. All right, real quick, we want to show you the difference between a Gen 1 power supply and a Gen 2 power supply. The Gen 1 power supply has a traditional black handle, while the Gen 2 has a nice new shiny red handle. If we take a look at the back of the power supply, you'll see that the connector types are very different. Do not place a Gen 1 power supply in a Gen 2 unit or a Gen 2 power supply in a Gen 1 unit. It will damage both units. Another great feature for version 7.0 is the support for the CXPIO card. The CXPIO card gives us the flexibility to add stage box extension to already linked systems. Be aware, capacity and function are slot specific. To see a list of the rules for the CXPIO, please check the What's New file. We're releasing a new operating system. This new OS version 3.0 will work on all EventMaster chassis. Please be mindful that your EXs need to be upgraded to 2.0.4 before you can upgrade to 3.0. Once you upgrade all of your EventMaster units, you'll be able to communicate with slave EX devices without an Ethernet connection. We've now added the ability to use a Gen 2 HDMI 2.0 output card as a multi-viewer card if placed in the multi-viewer slot. This gives us the ability to do four independent HD multi-viewers or one 4K multi-viewer with three splits. You are now able to display the last 20 messages that were shown in the bottom of the status bar. If you missed a message, you can check them by clicking the letter I in the lower right-hand corner. Linked systems with incorrectly patched CXP connections will show the CXP port as yellow. You should then click on the System View tab to verify the patching schematic. EventMaster XML is now available as an external device. It is preloaded with two transition commands. You may add additional XML commands as well. Adding a command now copies the command string of the prior command that was stored. This aids in repeating similar command strings where minor text changes may occur. We have added the ability to save an EDID file from a display device to be used on inputs. You may now save the HDR info file from an input and apply it to an output. We've added the test pattern, AOI, and color controls for super destination and super aux outputs. These controls are in a single location so that each destination does not have to be modified individually.
For the Image Pro 4K, we've added the ability in Event Master Toolset to make quad input or output connectors and make separate input or output connectors. We have added a table of connectors to the custom format tab. The user can now see which connector types are valid before trying to apply the format. On the programming page, we've added a toggle button to either lock or unlock all selected destinations. Stills imported from a PNG will have the same name as the uploaded file. On DP 1.2 inputs, there is a non-compliant device toggle. Use this for devices upstream of EventMaster that may not be fully compliant with the DP 1.2 spec. There are some DAs and KVMs that need the setting turned on in order for the video to become valid. By dropping a source into one of the Super Aux's individual destinations, we can now create a PIP style look. For the relative preset feature, we have some updates. When a user recalls a relative preset, EventMaster Toolset selects the relative radio button. When a user recalls a complete preset, EventMaster Toolset selects the complete radio button. When recalling presets, the show and hide state of the backgrounds and layers are now recalled and viewable on the Layers tab. These updates make it easier for the user to make changes to their presets. For more information on relative presets, please follow the link found in the description below. On the multi-viewer page, we've added the Auto Layout Desk button at the bottom of the screen. Click this button to automatically add all of your destinations to the layout. We've also added a place to save six custom window sizes. These act like sizing user keys for their multi-viewer windows. On EC Series controllers, we've added a Save Preset from Preview and a Save Preset from Program to the Custom button options. There's a new mappable keyboard shortcut that allows you to toggle the 00, zero destination origin from top left to center. And finally, we want to point out that the new multi-box SIM is available in the beta folder located on the FTP site. And that's it for version 7.0. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook on Barco Folsom Switchers or at e2 at barco.com. Until next time, thanks again.